Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading. And this reading is going to be for October. It is the monthly read. I did the best I could do to get that candle in the light. But anyways, or in the camera. So opening up to your spirit team, ancestors, angels, whoop, messages, please, for the sign of Pisces for October 2023 have judication 30 it's um the act of judging and making a judgment court maybe it doesn't have to be necessarily but making a judgment it might be uh, might have something to do with um, a divorce or making something kind of legal or it could be like the opposite really i don't know it just depends on your it's going to depend on your situation. So those are the cards I'm getting. Marriage in the reverse, adjudication, courtship in the reverse on the bottom. Hmm. Okay, well, what we're going to do is go to the tarot then. This is the wild unknown. Um, let's do a breakthrough spread and then... So the breakthrough that we're looking for is going to be on what is being judged at, at this time or what is having a judgment made um, upon it. It could even be talking about like a mediator um, judging something like somebody that is that is what they do is they're there to kind of be like a neutral force. All right, messages for Pisces. So breakthrough spread. The first is what's the pattern that Pisces keeps running into? What's the pattern that Pisces keeps running into? The three of wands, the three of wands. Okay. What is the pattern? Hmm. I'm getting that you don't think that something could happen or you're not 100% that something could technically be your ships coming in. Like I, there's something that you feel like you don't feel like can happen or you don't visualize or that you just haven't visualized this thing yet. Let me put the um, little fan on me because it is already getting hot in here it always gets hot in here when i do the reading stuff so all right so three of wands kind of sideways normally would talk about expansion and your ships going in and creativity and just a little bit of all of that but something feels either creatively like something is blocking what you want to come in or that you don't really believe it tell me about the challenge this is um, a reading that's pulling towards law of attraction for you. Oh, yeah. The unknown. Oh, and then the fool on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful card for a leap of faith. Gonna have to take a leap of faith into something really unknown. But it feels exciting. I'll be honest, when I look at this moon card, um, in comparison to other cards i just really get the feel of um being away being at a park being somewhere uh, on vacation hmm. and something is like kind of hidden but it's an adventure i don't know i picked that up with this card as and maybe the challenge is those things that we don't really know that we're subconsciously or unconsciously blocking by not really believing something can come come to fruition and then so it almost feels like this is like the bardo like you've got to get through this space until you get to what you want it's like it's like a bardo it's like an in-between realm <clears throat> that's a really interesting message and here pisces this doesn't have to be uh romantic this marriage card can be kind of like you know commitment like a hierophant energy and if it's in the reverse, it might be doing something in a different way. Or it might be something that you don't foresee this couple being together for whatever reason. 
that is. And so Pisces, your own energy is the challenge. Your, your energy is the challenge <laughs> because Pisces are so intuitive um, that oftentimes they will rely on clear sentience, which is, you know, like a clear feeling and trust their intuition. So what's going on with this is it makes me feel like there is something that isn't expanding. Either you don't trust it or you don't see something coming in. Hmm. All right. Faith, of course, is coming up. Having faith, you know, just kind of knowing something's going to work out. So this is why I did the spread. This is your breakthrough spread. So I want to know what's being judged. Uh, what kind of breakthrough are we having in regards to either a commitment coming apart or getting something official and coming together? Either, honestly, either or. Ooh. Ooh, for some of you all, it's about tying the knot. It truly is. For some of you all, it is about tying the knot. Where um, no, the breakthrough is that there is this uh, someone special, true love, soul partner out there for you. That's your breakthrough. Hmm. And if you look here on the bottom, I've got the six of wands in the reverse, having to do normally with you realizing that you have been underappreciated or that you just deserve more appreciation in whatever this is. There is a harmonious um, coming together with this two of cups. There is a harmonious coming together, okay? So let's look some more. Cancer energy, that's your breakthrough. Harmonious partnerships that are meant to be together. True love situations. Tell me about their power. Tell me about Pisces power. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Pisces knows about focusing here on um, the emotional well-being. Um, Pisces knows how very important it is that not just you, but, but uh, upon completion, others around you are also kind of flowing in this nice harmony of the Ten of Cups, which is everybody kind of appreciating wherever it is that you all have landed um, emotionally and, the, and seeing it, you know, in the environment too. So seeing this happiness by putting love first and connections, loving connections first over anything, it um, brings better results. Wow. Okay, so tell me about the um, outcome here for Pisces. What do we have? Wow, guys. You got the only two cards in the deck that I consider soulmate cards. And I'm not even kidding. Soulmate and soulmate. Holy crub. Crub? I don't know what that was. but So, wow. That's your outcome. There's a connection there's a connection you see this oh wow if i feel like you've got it's interesting that i was saying something about the bardo because it's like as above so below you're in transition your outside world you know being in transition starting to look um like your inside world so these connections they go deep and this is part of your breakthrough this is a a soulmate connection this is the journey, um, and it does lead to some kind of happiness. So the last card in this spread is your advice. Let's get an advice card. And honestly, the only thing I'm going to clarify is the challenge. Oh, my gosh. I, can't, I don't even know if we need to clarify too much. Tower in reverse. Something is being rebuilt after something fell down. This is the eight of wands. So if if you hadn't gotten some really, really good news, then you'd be in store. You should uh, be excited. There is some kind of really good news that's coming in. It's communication, um, but it's also about um, number eight, achievements and speed, the fastness because of the action with the wands. So. 
it's it it's a little bit of um, all of that. Sometimes it's Cupid's arrow, and it certainly looks like it might be that. We're not going to have to clarify hardly at all. So your advice is just like, hang on, because you're about to get some good, good news. All right, so t tell me a little bit more about the pattern here with Three of Wands. Everything's wanting to come out, but... The Ten of Cups. Seriously? <laughs> there you go. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. Whew. It's something that you're not sure if you can really do. I feel like it's because you haven't gotten this news yet with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Once you get this news, it's going to be like, yeah, everything's going to be happy from there. <laughs> I mean, wow. Well, I can't get over this. And it's 1010, meaning that something's happening in, happening in divine timing. What about the challenge with the moon? What about the challenge with the moon? You have your ancestors with you very strongly. Spirit. Oh, sometimes we're afraid of what we'll find within ourselves. Um, yeah, okay, so... The challenge could be either more reflecting or um, sharing on this journey into the unknown. It feels like maybe it is talking about sharing or meeting this energy that's meant to maybe be with you on some part of your travel with that being in the reverse. Um, this could be somebody outside of yourself. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. This could be somebody like a really good integrity, somebody that you have no idea that you're going to end up meeting once you step into the unknown. And once you start allowing your feelings also to expand, loving more, heart being more opened. Tell me a little bit more about um, the Two of Cups, which is the breakthrough breakthrough another 10 it is after something is ended by you i mean as it is after there has been an ending uh and you've walked away and and then our the energy is freed up and that's what it's talking about <laughs> 10 10 10 and then we had the 10 of pentacles on the bottom too and it's like whoa major completions um major major completions and with the Ten of Swords, the breakthrough is that, yeah, this is not something fun that you're having to walk away from, but doing so will allow you to go towards um, and, and expand towards your happiness. Tell me about the advice. Mm, well, that's interesting. So the Six of Cups is, to me, it's saying that there may be an actual advice is the, the physical separation so separating parting ways quickly or just being ready for that so you have two six of cups it does turn over but there's something about going forward on this journey it's gonna take the parting of ways for something first is what it's saying i mean finding out what connections are, are needing healed is really important too wow and having new beginnings, um, new prosperous ventures for you and your soul family. About to meet people from your soul family. And I have a feeling some of them have gifts they want to exchange with you or that they agreed to exchange with you. Such as, you know, uh, having that gift of that. That's, there's this great opportunity that you can take. Wow. Because of having this connection. 666, keep your thoughts positive happy healthy and look i think this is going to be really good for you so pisces we're gonna um leave it there if you need a private reading contact me in the description box below it's how to get a hold of me um until next time sending you love and light please like share and subscribe Bye bye